So I'm here in the water cube in Barcelona with Kisa. Um, Kisa, can you just, can just have a look at your badge? Yeah, sure. That's great. Okay, so you're going to be up on stage in a, an hour or so. Uh -huh. Well, tell me a bit about you and what you're going to be talking about. Um, well, I'm going to talk about the role of our Pacific Water and Waste Association um, in terms of the capacity and building programs that we've got. So, okay, so you're from the Pacific region. Yes. Tell me a bit about the background on what you do. Um, well, I work for the Secretariat, which is the Pacific Water and Waste Association Secretariat. So we're based in Samoa. That's where the headquarters are, or the office. Um, and we um, are a not-for-profit not uh, organisation, and we, our main role is really to coordinate uh, capacity building programs, activities for all the members of our association. Okay, well we'll come back to the capacity sure. building theme because mm -hmm. it's a word, a phrase I hear a lot, but I really want to understand what it means in practice, means? but especially in the context of where you are. But tell me what you're going to be talking about today. Well, uh, what I want to talk about today is the program that we're actually um, facilitating right now for our members. So we have 21 um, public utility members which are part of our association um, and they all have common issues in terms of limited training, limited expertise, uh, limited finance of course. So what basically what we're doing is bringing them together, we're matchmaking them with expert twins. So they are recipients of a program which is called Twinning or Water Operators Partnerships. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're, we're trying to uh, match them with um, experts from Australia, New Zealand, and from whatever country will be able to assist in terms of helping them, um, giving them the training that they need in particular areas, for instance, asset management. Yeah. So in the, in the Pacific region, there are some very particular issues on that you're facing. Yes, and very common right across the Pacific, basically because we have the same culture, uh, climate, uh, same water issues. Um, but you were saying climate change is very, a real very factor. Much. We're, we're affected very much by climate change. Yeah, and you were telling me about a couple of islands that are yes. just mm. going, sinking, or they've got problems with the sinking. groundwater as well. well so yeah, give me an example. Uh, uh, Tuvalu and Kiribati. Um, the two, um, well, compared to like, for instance, Fiji or Papua New Guinea, they're very small in terms of population, but they have real dramatic problems in terms of the um, they're actually sinking. Um, it's so uh, sea level water is rising in yeah. their islands, um, but not only that, it's the water issues. Like Tuvalu, for example, they just they they rely uh, solely on rain, rainwater. Yeah. Yeah. So no surface water, no underground water, and um, those are the issues. So you them. mentioned the phrase capacity building before, mm -hmm. but at the tangible level, what does it mean in say the context? You, you capacity about that? building is. Um, it basically building up um, the expertise which is required for them to perform um, the utilities to be able to deliver a good water service for the customers. So is that having the right people working in those organisations yes, with yes. the right skills? So that I, I guess it will um, reduce the re uh, dependence on outside consultants or yeah. outside... Uh, yeah. So it's kind of making those organisations in a way sustainable themselves yes. they, they they have enough knowledge in the, in them and they have enough ability to interact with others that, exactly that they can handle they can yeah. understand the problems that they're facing and understand and, 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 and address them at, at practical yeah. levels and at their own um, local level i yeah. guess yeah great well good to meet you and good luck um, talking today thanks. thank you very much thanks mm -hmm.